Okay, good evening. Just wanted to um, reintroduce you to um, the DGT USB board um, and the Raspberry Pi. Probably one of the best uses for a Raspberry Pi. Uh, and we'll just uh, quickly. So this is the, or oh, this is a Raspberry Pi. Um, this is a model um, two, I think this one is. Twenty-five pound um, Linux-based computer. You can do quite a lot with the Raspberry Pi. Um, this is one of the best uses I've found for one. So this is uh, a Raspberry Pi. Uh, this one's a, a model uh, model 3B, I think it is. It's got a 32 gig card in it, running um, uh, the DGT Pi Raspi, uh, and that's running Pico Chess uh, version 9. Point something. So this one's wired up. I've wired this one up via the, you can't really see the GPIO ports are good, or pinouts on that one, but on this one, that's on there. So there's your outputs, if I can get it to focus, focus, uh, it's not focusing so much, probably too close, but that's the um, pinouts. So these are wired into the uh, DGT3000 clock. Um, it's a, I think it's a 10 segment uh, chess clock. Uh, and this is the sensory board, uh, wooden pieces. Each one's got a microchip in it that tells it uh, what it is and where it's at. So if I just plug my setup in, so hopefully the Pi will be booting, there you go. So it's a DGT Pi running version 9 point something I think. Pico Chess. Pico Chess. There we go. Um, so that's operational now. Um, speakers there. Does talk, does shout out the moves. So it's quite good for um, uh, even partially sighted and blind people um, because it does shout out the moves. Um, so now then. Um, so let's have a look. I haven't got a, a big wide lens on this, so so if I make a move, let's say D4, it'll Nine, say F6. It'll say um, that it's okay, um, uh, whether it's in the opening book, and it'll give you a move. So Knight, knight F6, Knight F6. Okay, says it's okay. Um, we'll do bishop f4 c5 uh, and away you go c5 um, and that's it it's a really good system as I say one of the best uses for a Raspberry Pi um, there is a Raspberry Pi 4 now and unfortunately uh, I don't think the software runs on that because that would be extremely fast. But for what it is, this works very well. Um, so well, in fact, that DGT uh, actually make uh, the DGT Pi. Now you can actually buy it on their website, which is a one of these clocks, but with a molded bottom 
and everything sits in it. Now of course this one is a 3D printed one that I printed. Um, I was going <laughs> I was going to um, uh, just make uh, a moulded bottom for that clock but to be honest I just couldn't. I couldn't get my head around the 3D software the design aspect of it so I simply made a box and put some letter, lettering on it and because my printer is quite small you'll see a line down the middle of there because um, I had to print it in two parts because it's just too big to go on the um, uh, 3D printer uh, bed so but there we are such is life you do what you need to do don't you um, and I needed access because obviously this thing um, needs to be updated um, it needs to be um, well it needs to be tweaked now and again um, but yeah, I mean it works very well. I've got no qualms. It's a big board this. This is, um, you know, it's a massive board. Uh, and really good. And because it's a, uh, another one of the uh, sensory type boards, um, you can just um, set back and it'll start a new game. New game. There we go. And you can change the engines using uh, like a queen on I think it's uh, A6 yeah I think A6 OK engine so that's the that's one of the engines um, that's another okay engine OK engine um, uh, Assassin is um, the king um, that's uh, a, a really good one Um, so OK engine. Rodent 3 is another excellent one. Uh, Stockfish is um, very good though. OK engine. Uh, it's only version 8. Um, because after that I think um, they have a few issues with uh, engine size and everything going on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I don't think it's fast enough uh, to run it. And to shut the system down just take off the white king, uh, put the white queen on. Abort. Goodbye. And it'll shut. It'll shut my system down for me. There we go. So, and of course you can change. Uh, you can change levels. Um, and times and everything. You can set everything just by piece. Uh, placing the piece in various. Uh, portions of the board, segments of the board. So uh, this is so. This is the DGT um, USB board. Don't know whether you can see that. Uh, running on the Raspberry Pi. So, um, and that's just been updated. I can't remember what what the last version was, uh, but this is nine point something, nine point five, I think. Uh, and it's running well, very well in fact. Okay, cheers.